Safe Soil World Razor Sovina and Roger here. Let's watch October 2023. How planet Jupiter will impact humans and the Earth with Sadhguru. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why are we watching such a video? We don't usually study the planets and the constellations and thus, but it is Satguru and it is October <laughs> and we're going through a little bit of a limbo phase in life right now. So we're curious what is happening. After the summer solstice or after the sun's moment in relationship with our planet has started moving south when this shift happens on the day of the solstice. From then on, in terms of nature, you're moving from a dynamic moment of energies, both of the planet or at least the northern hemisphere and what is happening in our bodies. When we move away, from the dynamic nature, we're naturally moving towards what we refer to as inertia. What is it? The extreme like manifestation laziness, mm. of inertia is death. Mm. So in a way, we are moving towards a certain slowdown mm. of our system. Mm. So this is the nature of the planet. So when this shift happens and sun's movement starts turning south, depending upon which part of the twelve-year cycle we are in a given year, when I say a twelve-year cycle, the solar cycle, as per the observations within our system, is approximately 12.25 to 12.4 years. But today, as per modern calculations, they say it's 11.6 to 11.65. But that is not taking into considerations the moment or our relationship with the Jupiter. As you know, most of you should know, at least those of you who are in India are aware of this. Jupiter is referred to as Buddha what? because it is supposed to be Brahaspati. What is Brahaspati? If somebody is brilliant, I don't know. then we say oh, he's a Brahaspati mm. because his intelligence, his energies have become lit. Lit? Ooh. Very dynamic. Wow. So the Who's story goes like this, there was a sage called Brahaspati ah. and Adiyogi made him into a planet and put him as Jupiter. Oh. You be there sure. to God over the human creatures so that they become human beings, <laughs> light them up. Mm. How is Jupiter lighting us up? As you all know, Jupiter's orbit is outside of the Earth's orbit. Tiny. Wherever Jupiter is in the orbit, the sun gets pulled in that direction. Sun is not stationary it gets pulled in the direction of the Jupiter approximately the same distance as the diameter of the sun itself. Hmm. Wow. So depending upon where Jupiter is going, sun is here, 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 here. So whenever the Jupiter and Earth come in sync between their two orbits, because our orbit is 365 days, Jupiter's orbit is 11.85 years. So, 
whenever it comes in touch, at that time the dynamism of the sound is at its highest peak on this planet. As all of you know that the only source of energy on this planet is solar energy. Don't think solar energy happened <laughs> after you invented your panel. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Every leaf is solar energy. Uh, a dead body can turn into coal or oil or diamond because of solar energy. Just everything that happens here is solar energy hmm. transformed into various expressions. You also are solar charged. So when the planet and the Jupiter gets aligned, because this is moving rapidly, this is moving slowly, it gets aligned somewhere. When that happens, you get the maximum. While this maximum is good, if you clean, keep the planet good, because this maximum brings extra heat. On an average, there is a variation of 2.5 degrees Celsius variation in temperature in these twelve years oh. wow. or 12.25 years of cycle, solar cycle, because mainly because of the in influence of the Jupiter pulling the sun a little closer to us. So this means more sunlight, more temperature, more radiation. If we want to benefit from this, we must keep the planet healthy, green, then you will benefit. Otherwise, you could be little scorched out. <laughs> Recent research is talking about <laughs> that climate change could shrink the human brain. Are you noticing what? it? What? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's already <laughs> happening. <laughs> so, uh, in this twelve-year cycle, right now, we are not aligned with the Jupiter right now, but we will be after some time. Probably in the month of October, November, we will be aligned. So you may have a little late winter coming because this year we will be aligned around that time. Hmm. Sadhguru... Well, you know me guys, I did not understand much. <laughs> um, but I just want to quickly touch on the video itself. It's so well done. I oh. loved it. And just simply seeing the images with the music and Sadhguru's really calm voice. It didn't matter what he was saying, there was a transmission happening. Oh. And it's very beautiful. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. But Roger, please explain <laughs> what did he actually say? Yeah, that was a nice video. So, yeah, not in too much detail or impact in regardings to his spirituality in general, but just basically saying that, you know, in astrology, so Jupiter is so big that it pulls the sun closer to it, right? Because they have gravitational forces against each other. And Jupiter's massive. I didn't know that either, but it, it's pretty logical. And then, so that's why when there's kind of this eclipse or this alignment of the mm -hmm. Earth and Jupiter or in the same alignment with the sun, which is quite rare, then it's going to pull the sun a little bit closer, which means that the solar radiation coming from the sun is going to be greater on the earth at that time. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay, okay. Which is happening now. Yeah, in the month of uh -huh. October, November, it's oh, going to yeah. be like a pure alignment, but it's probably slightly happening now. It's probably mm -hmm. a little bit closer than usual. Okay, okay. And as far as spirituality is concerned, we know that yeah, all energy, so even possibly like spiritual conscious energy could be impacted by these solar flares and the sun being that much closer, right? How? Well, just energy, right? So it's increasing the amount of radiation and energy on the planet. And do you understand that all the energy on the earth is coming from the sun? Yeah, all energy on earth is coming from the sun. Okay, but now we're not talking energy as consciousness. Uh, no, but I just said possibly, right? Okay, so how is energy different from consciousness? I don't know, I kind of equate it as the same usually. Yeah, cause... well, they're, they're probably interrelated, of course, when we're talking about in reality, everything's manifesting from one supreme source. Yeah. We know that that is 
you know, consciousness itself, right? Mm -hmm. That's the energy of all creation. There's like an observer, witness, watcher, God, consciousness. If it wasn't for this infinite field of awareness, being aware of everything, then nothing would be happening at all, right? So, of course, the suns and the planets, and I think that's why even they were personified into these deities in reality, like in ancient texts and scriptures, because there's a certain energy there, right? Mm. So when the sun's getting closer, it's probably a very opportune time for spiritual advancement. I know that in New Age circles, we're talking about solar flares, people being able to access the higher dimensions in that and i'm wondering maybe it's possible also in sanatan dharma the ancient teachings because oh, the ancient really? the okay. new age circles are really talking about that like okay. there might be a solar flare in october november and then people are going to be able to ascend into the higher uh what do they call them the density I, the densities like, oh it's so the high levels of consciousness yeah exactly so there's going to be a shift and people so are going to be curve. able to transform, right? right so which is why I was actually hoping Sakura would touch on maybe mm -hmm. possible spiritual opportunities at oh, this time. Yes, but yes, he didn't yes. really go into that. Okay. But New Age circles are talking about it. I bet you there's going to oh. be a really huge, gigantic portal. portal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me another portal. Which is cool, right? we got to take advantage. And even when we're thinking about certain things happening in the external reality and then we internalize them as being beneficial for us in our spiritual development and we've got to remember that also what we hold in mind tends to manifest mm. so just holding on to a belief that this is going to be a great time oh. to evolve spiritually creates that possibility for you because you're opening up to it and then also that would lead to like deepening your spiritual practices to prepare which also correlates. So whether it's actually what's happening in the external mm. world or entirely depending on your internal world, mm. but we know that there is no external world without the internal world because it's our internal consciousness that's creating the external world, that right? Helps. So it's whatever we hold in mind, right? So if we believe it's gonna be a great time, then it will be. Let's believe it, people. Let's make this time exuberant. Let's explode, oh, like yes. Sadhguru often says, into bliss and joy. Oh yeah, Brahmic bliss. Bra Brahmic bliss coming November. up. Coming up for you. <laughs> for Do the work. <laughs> for you, yeah. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's ascend into the higher density states together. Yes. And this thanks. world needs it. Um, and so thanks Jinping's to needed. Jupiter. <laughs> what yeah. was that word? Brihaspati? Oh, yeah. Brahaspati. You are one. Tomb. Yeah, Brahaspati. do we got any spiritual oh. geniuses out there? Let us know. Talk about all your great wisdom. Yes. Okay, Share friends. It. Safe soil, mm. and may you be blessed. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace.